So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can connect your social media accounts to MailChimp, but also how you can use MailChimp to post any social media to your Instagram, Facebook or Twitter account. The first thing to note is if you do want to use a scheduling tool, which they do have in MailChimp, you have to be on a paid version to use it. So that's just worth noting before you go any further that if you're not on the paid version, you can still send posts through MailChimp, but you won't be able to schedule them in on specific dates and times. So the first thing you'll need to go is to actually connect your social media accounts. So if you go down here to integrations, you'll come to this page. Now Twitter, you would just click on Twitter and um, keep it at account default. Now what this basically means is it will bring up all the lists and audiences that you currently have in your MailChimp account. Now if you're creating campaigns, to a particular audience and you set it so that it sends out to social media once the email campaign has gone out, then you want to actually attach it to that particular audience. Otherwise, if you're just using it for a general social media posting tool, then just keep it to account default. You don't need to attach it to any particular audience. This means then that it will just post out any social media that you choose to attach to campaigns. Plus, you can just use it on its own as a posting tool. So then you just connect. Now, I don't have Twitter, so I'm not going to connect that. What we do have here is Facebook. Now, you need to make sure if you're using Instagram as well that both Instagram and Facebook are connected before you do this. And then you would go to your Facebook icon and click on connect and it will basically find it and ask you to accept that connection. And then what it will do is it will ask you which page you actually want to connect this to. So this is the page that you're going to be posting up through all your social media to. So just select your page and then just you can test that connection if you want to, but it will just automatically just hold that in the system ready to use. What you can also do here is just leave it at select a Facebook page because when you're creating your posts, you can actually choose at that point which page you wish to connect it to. So if you are managing four or five accounts for companies or you actually have two or three accounts yourself, then you can actually choose at the point of creating the post. So you don't have to select this right now or you just may have one account at which point do it in here. So what you want to do now when you've done that is obviously you've got all your things here. Just go to automations and go to retargeting ads and down here you'll see social post. So just click on social post and give it a name. We're just going to call it a test and then we're going to begin. So this could be that you've got a particular product campaign you're doing or it's September social, you know, just to keep things together so you can reference it afterwards. And then it takes you to this page here. It's asking you where you're posting to. You can switch these on and off depending whether you want to post to all of them or just to some of them. And you can change the messaging at the next stage. So just click on save and continue. And then it'll ask you then to either create something in Creative Assistance or just basically browse and find that image that you're looking for. So I've imported an image here, which is just promoting the latest, one of the latest videos I've created, put some information here with a link and also used hashtags. You can add um, other images as well. So it'll just do it as it would do in Facebook um, and Twitter, but it won't do multiples for Instagram. So if we just click on save and continue, you'll see here it's showing us what it's got at the moment and it's already selected one of the pages that it can actually post to. Although if you click on this, it will bring down a number of other pages that obviously I manage, but you can post to as well. So you can change these up, but typically if you're posting something like this, you're gonna have them all going to the safe, same place. And obviously I don't have Twitter, so we can just switch that off straight away. So you can check your messaging, see what it looks like. You can add an extra image down here and over in Twitter if you're using it just to kind of, give more visuals and then when you're happy with your content just click save and continue and we can either publish now or we can schedule that in okay so for example for this we're going to schedule that in for um the 23rd at let's say 10 o'clock obviously we can edit the time zone at this point and when you're happy with this and you've checked them over just click on schedule if you're sending it out straight away it'll just click on send so if we schedule it there, 
it will also give us some analytics and things if we want them as well so now what you want to do is just go back and go to your campaigns and you'll see it sitting in a campaign down here you can pause and edit it if you wish to do so so you can just click on that pause and edit and then go back into the system and change things how you want okay but you can do a number of these so again if you're on the paid version you can just kind of start setting these up and scheduling them in if you sent an email campaign out and you do want that to automatically go to some of your social media accounts then you can actually set up social links through the campaigns themselves so if you go to all campaigns and choose the actual campaign that you wish to link in the area here you'll see add a social post so obviously I'm not connected to Twitter but if you are that will come up as an option so if for Facebook example you wish to add some information in with the images and the links and hashtags the things that you've done previously then you can select a page that that can go to as well so you can do it through here for a particular campaign the same thing for Instagram is you can connect a profile tell them which one you wanted to go through add your content, your links, your hashtags and add the image. So that's very campaign specific. So you do have a number of options in terms of how you actually post your social media. So if you do have a campaign that you wish to share socially, this is potentially the way that you can do that. And you can get a report as you normally would through campaigns in terms of how well that's performed for you. You can only get a report though for Instagram and Facebook. It doesn't do it with Twitter at the moment. So I mean my, my suggestion would be to just kind of give it a bit of a, a go. See if you like using it for your social posts. Again when you go to campaigns you can just list the posts themselves which makes it a bit easier if you, you've got a lot going on. Let me know how you get on.